You know, after you visit Japan a few times, there's something you have to do. You have to go to the city of Nagano, and you have to see the snow monkeys. First off, the biggest mistake that most people make is when they hear about the snow monkeys. Other people often mistakenly refer to them as Nagano snow monkeys. So logically, you would assume that they would be located somewhere within the city of Nagano. Nope, not even close. You see, the snow monkeys are located within the Nagano province, otherwise known as the Nagano prefecture. But that doesn't mean the monkeys are located within the city of Nagano itself. In fact, it's important to know that the snow monkeys are actually located in a spot named Jigokuldani Park, about 22 and a half miles away from the center of the city of Nagano. Additionally, you're going to have to factor in the necessary time to get there and back. Keep in mind that when you start in the city of Nagano, travel all the way to Jigokuldani Park. It's going to take you about two hours to get there then factor at least two hours to get back to your hotel. You're probably going to want to stop and get something to eat on your way back. You will be hungry, so that's going to take more time. So just traveling to and from the park, factor at least four hours of your schedule for the day. That's a helpful hint. I can tell you this. Whenever I visit the snow monkeys, I might leave my hotel at about 10 a.m., and I find myself getting back to the hotel at about 3 or 4 p.m. So visiting the snow monkeys is more or less a full day. Bottom line, let me explain the process to you. You'll start in Nagano. Take a train to Yudanaka Station. Take a bus or taxi to the main gate of the mountain, then walk up the mountain to the snow monkeys. So, to even get to the snow monkeys, you're going to have to start at a main train station in Nagano, Japan. It's the main hub for all subways and bullet trains and buses coming in and out of the city. You're going to want to take the Nagano Dentetsu line. You're going to have to go downstairs to the Yudanaka station gate, pay about 1160 yen, that's about $10, and take the Yudanaka railway train. Quick note, by the way, there's also an express shuttle. This fancy train that looks like something out of a futuristic 1960s space film will get you to Yudanaka Station in about half the time, but it's $23 instead of $10. Anyway, in about an hour, you'll get to Yudanaka Station. You're getting close, you're almost there. From Yudanaka Station, you can take a 300 yen bus, that's about $2.50, or a $10 taxi cab ride to the spot. At this point, you'll walk upwards following the signs until you get to the main entrance of the forest. Now, you're about 30 to 40 minutes of a walk away from your goal. You can take your time walking up this long, serene path through the woods, taking photos along the way. It's beautiful. Quick note, if the snow is falling in Japan at the time, you wanna wear boots or shoes with traction. This area gets very slippery when it's snowing. As you walk along the path, you'll see lots of signs that will guide you along the way. It's impossible to get lost. As you begin to approach the area you've been waiting for, you will see something truly amazing. There are hundreds of snow monkeys that race down the hillside in anticipation of treats and goodies from the park employees. So you know you're getting close. When you're near this building, which provides access to a natural spring, an onsen. You're very close. Just walk up to the flight of stairs to complete your journey. When you get to the main gate, it's about 500 yen, $4.25, to gain access. Then you walk to the naturally heated pool where the monkeys congregate. You'll walk along the bustling stream across one final bridge that leads you to your destination. There are four things you do not do. Number one, don't bring a pet to the park. The monkeys would likely attack them or feel threatened. Number two, don't feed the monkeys. You don't want them attempting to take anything from you. Number three, don't touch them. You can get very close to them, but don't touch. They might decide they want to show their strength and leave a nice healthy bite mark on your leg. Number four, don't set anything down. 
if you set your purse or camera or a phone on the ground, the monkeys will be likely tempted to grab your property and run up the mountain to a safe place. Imagine losing your wallet, credit cards, passport, cash, phone, and or camera in the middle of a trip to Japan. That would be a nightmare. The amazing thing about these monkeys is that you can walk up to them and snap some of the most amazing photos while they sit on the bridge enjoying the view. They're eating, relaxing, and even wading in the water. You're catching them for just a moment in their native element, so it's amazing to see it with your own eyes. Depending on the time of year, especially when it's snowing heavy, these monkeys will relax in that warm water and you can capture some of the most amazing moments on your camera. Regardless when you go, you will never forget this experience. It's a moment in time that you will treasure for the rest of your life. For more information on the amazing Nagano snow monkeys, do me a favor. Take a look at the links underneath this video. If you want to, you can contact me or my staff directly, no problem whatsoever. For journeytojapan.com, I'm Carl Rosa. I really hope to see you here.